put on your Google glasses, what does the world look like in 20 years? It's changing so fast, Eric. Um, it's much better in many dimensions. Um, so Thomas? Absolutely. So let's start with knowledge, right? In 20 years, the computers will be good enough that with your permission and with your usage and so forth, they'll be the perfect personal assistant. They'll be able to, to read and again, with your permission, and respond and say, do I really want to go to Chicago or do I really want to go to Philadelphia today? They'll be that smart to make your lives better. Will you use it? Absolutely, because it'll be cheap or free. A gigabit in, in Ethernet, in Internet, fiber optic net will be available pretty much everywhere in the developed world. And that will mean a complete lack of barrier in communications. All of the DVDs, all of the television, all the radio on a single pipe. You'll never, ever be waiting. You can always have it immediately. If you think about medicine, mobile phones are now beginning to get diagnostics that can help diagnose medical problems. Uh, we were talking about um, there's a problem of teenage suicide. There's somebody who's building an app that will, again, with the permission of the parents and so right. forth and so on, detect changes in the teenager's behavior and alert the psychologist or the counselor that maybe there's a problem here. You think that's going to save lives? It makes a lot of difference. A combination of non-invasive diagnostics, medical diagnostics, the use of the mobile phone will change medicine. And that's not even talking about the genetics revolution. The breakthroughs in genetics for medical care and understanding things is, at a, at a, is just about to explode. In the last few years, they developed an ability to get stem cells out of your blood. So they can actually, in theory, over the next 20 years, learn to grow organs to replace the ones that you might have as you age. What makes Google best positioned to own the future? We're trying to invent the platform for knowledge. We're trying to make you smarter. So the evolution of Google is to go from you asking Google what to search for to Google helping you anticipate, to make you smarter. And again, you let Google know things, Google will help you.